In just over two hours, Cayman's under-17 girls football team faces Costa Rica in the first match of the CONCACAF finals. Local reporter Nikolai Hill from Radio Cayman flew down to San Jose last evening and has been tracking the team. Coach Bobby McLaren kept a closed door ahead of tonight's match. Business time for our under-17 girls football team and uh, trying to get in touch with the girls football team. I was given a big no-no, Jason, uh, <laughs> between Coach Bobby McLaren Coach Tiago, the technical director, Coach Tiago Cunha, and of course the man who's helping out, uh, the technical director of the, the senior men's team, Mr. Carl Brown. They're keeping the girls under extreme wraps. They're trying to keep them focused and ready for the big task at hand tonight, which is the big game against Costa Rica. The first game of the under-17 CONCACAF uh, championship, and uh, it's, a, it's a big, big um, avenue for them, and it's a big performance that will be needed. Uh, against a uh, good Costa Rica team. Of course, they do have the home advantage. There will be thousands of fans uh, at the stadium supporting the Costa Rica girls. And the, the Cayman girls will have to play with the, the determination and focus they've had in, in the past months, going away to the Dominican Republic, going to Haiti, and getting these big-time results. They'll need a, another big-time result here in Costa Rica tonight. That's Nikolai Hill from Radio Cayman and Radio Cayman will have live coverage of that match from Costa Rica on 89.9 FM. That starts at 8.30 tonight. So you can join Nikolai and listen to the live coverage of the girls doing so fantastic in Costa Rica. Also tonight, United States face Haiti. To the water for some sailing. Now we're back at home. The race Cayman event prepares to push off from the sailing club docks tomorrow morning. Sports 27 visited the club today and our cameras caught some of the sailors putting on the finishing touches. 17 countries competing and the finishing touches are on ahead of their preparations for tomorrow's start. 80 sailors will contest the, the six-day regatta, which is a crucial event on the sailing ca calendar, serving as a qualifier for this summer's Youth Olympics in Singapore. 25 races will be contested over the six days and Cayman will be represented in both the Bight and J22 divisions. The local team is excited about their chances. They've been training every day and they've been working really hard and made tons of improvements. So uh, they're definitely ready for this competition. It is our own backyard. Love these conditions. Sail them every day. So hope to do really well. I feel like I, I should do really well out there on the water. I feel fast, lightning fast. Hopefully get in the top five. I'm three years younger than the y other youngest, so I was thinking I might be far behind, but I found out actually on, sa on Sunday I can actually beat I, I could have actually beat most of them, so it gave me confidence. And they started from not knowing how to sail four years ago, and they're here now competing in the an international stage, uh, hoping to qualify for Singapore in August, so it's really, really nice. So we're urging you to go out and support the local team as they compete at uh, the sailing club in prospect. And finally, some good news from the West Indies for a change. They win the third one-day international against Zimbabwe today, taking a 2-1 to one advantage in the series. Winning in St. Vincent, medium pacer Darren Sammy. He led the Windies to a 141-run triumph at Arnesville with four wickets. The Windies totally outplaying the Africans, finally. Batting first, the West Indies score a decent 254 for nine off their 50 overs. And then they limited Zimbabwe to 104 all out in reply. Look at this catch from Chris Gill coming up. Wow. So after a shaky start, losing the first 2020 international and the opening one day, the Caribbean side picks up back-to-back -back wins with two matches left in the series. Game four is on Friday at the same time, same venue. You can join us on Isla 24 for live coverage of the West Indies versus Zimbabwe. That's it for sports.